Well, I got another new toy that applies to photography today. So if that's the kind of thing you're interested in, stay tuned. It's a slide copier, only instead of requiring a bunch of fancy camera equipment, it's supposed to work with your phone, which of course is a lot more accessible to most people. I'm just opening this for the first time, so I have no idea what's happening. Um, wow. Yeah, no idea what's happening. Okay, so we have this, with this obviously folds open. I might actually have to read the instructions. <laughs> I hate reading instructions. I one time told one of my engineers that if a customer has to read the instructions, you have failed. So, <laughs> they didn't much like that. Okay, so this seems to be the light source. There's a switch over here. Battery compartment. I'm going to need a tool to open. It is too stubborn. Um, oh, I think I understand this. This goes on here like... I see, like this, and it goes click. I see it goes click. There we go, sort of. So those two tabs go like that, and then these tabs fit over here somehow. It's being a little stubborn. Okay. Ha! And there should be a light source right underneath here, but I just assembled it backwards. Maybe I'll do this side first since I can see this side. Flip it around. Okay. Hmm. It's a little bit rocky. But it appears that one puts the... Take this back off. One lays the film strip here or places a slide here. And the light source, if there were batteries, would light that up. And I guess all that's left to do is to actually put some batteries in here, get my phone, and give this a shot, okay? So hold on, I'll be right back. I have now read the manual in English, French, German, Chinese, and whatever else is in here, and so I am fully trained. Um, yeah, it, it goes through the basics. Uh, it does show that it will do film as opposed to just slides. Uh, I'm not sure I'll trust that. Maybe I'll take a look at it and if I can... I'm worried that it'll scratch the film as I pull it through there. So if I'm convinced that it won't, maybe I'll do a, a test on that. Um, okay, what else? Um, this is the device loaded with batteries. And I tried recharge batteries and they don't work. So... Yeah, it's not enough voltage apparently to drive the light. So they're in there now. And the slide will go on here like this. And when we crank up the light, you can see that. Now we need to add the top piece back on here. And I can't see what I'm doing. There's that side, there's that side. Okay, I have to zoom out a little bit. There we go. And refocus. Okay, good enough. Now, we need our phone. So, we're on Pro. As you can see, the lens is not... So, I've got half a dozen lenses back here, and it's this middle one, the big middle one that's doing the job. So I've got to get that over the top of this hole. And as you can see, yeah, the phone is sitting cockeyed and this bulge that's on the back, I don't know if you can see that, the lens bulge is a problem. It keeps it from sitting properly. And I lost my camera. And there we go. Um, yeah, basically you need three hands to operate this. 
we have focus. Notice it's on four thirds. And I need to make this as big as possible. And then try to hold it all square against the That doesn't look right. Okay, there's that edge, there's that edge. Okay, that's probably as good as I'm going to do. Um, let's start taking pictures. There's one, and I will talk to you about this. Does the quality of the cell phone matter? Yes, very much. When I bought this cell phone, I bought it because it was um, one of the top cameras at the time. It was either this or the high-end Apple. And this is like a $2,000 phone. So, I mean, if this won't work, nothing will. You can now buy these secondhand for a few hundred dollars. So, if it works out, it's not out of reach. Um, Let's see what else. So in pro mode down here, you can see that the settings and what else? Yeah, I've got too much margin on the outside. This would be better if it was expanded just a little bit. And maybe that's too much. I'm going to start cropping, yeah, cropping the slide. I think it was at 2.9 was about the best. Anyway, there's three as far as magnification goes. Okay, I'm not sure I shot that last picture. Make sure I push the button and wasn't just fiddling around. Let's see. Focus. You can see what happens. See the light leaking in? So if I, I should be shielding it on this side when I take the picture. Let's try it like that. Okay. Shield it and click. So you can kind of see if this would work for you. I mean, is this, is this good enough? Or is the process too slow? Is it okay? Uh, part of it will depend on how many slides you're going to do. Yeah, this top is tippy. And there we go. That's the last one. Okay, so I think we have a pretty fair sample of pictures. And I will pull those out of the phone. Then I will... I will... Use this slide copier. Let me zoom out. I will use this slide copier that I have another video on how to make, and we will compare and see if this will compare at all. Uh, if it's comparable to the images I can get out of here, and you know, again, you can decide whether it's worth your while. Okay, let's go do that. As promised, I have selected three photographs of each from the DIY slide copier, that's the one with the wood base and the camera, and then the one we were just looking at, the phone slide copier. And this is the first one. Uh, this, yeah, the colors are different. I mean, that's true. This camera produces a warmer picture and the light's a little different. The uh, light from the phone slide copier is much cooler. However, my biggest concern is, I mean, I can change the brightness and the colors in Photoshop or something, but 
My biggest concern is if you look at this, here you can see individual leaves and here it's just a blur. So this is several times sharper, much more detail, much more information to work with. Um, yeah, nothing else to point out on that one. Here I did the same thing again. This is the one with the pots lined up, same photograph. This one is done with the phone slide copier. And you can see I took these four little pieces off of that pot right there and blew them up and ditto over here. And you can see that, yeah, again, this is many times sharper. On this one, I like the color much better over here. Uh, you can also see the wood grain much clearer there. Okay, and then the final picture, these are a bunch of really old tuk-tuks. I don't know what year they're from, but probably the 1960s. And yeah, I don't know if you, which you prefer for color. Uh, the sky on this one looks a little off color. This one is blown out. But if we look at the license plate from this particular tuk-tuk, it's clear to read 0281, it looks like. And then there's some character right there I don't recognize. Um, but this one, yeah, you can't read that at all. It's the same license plate from there. So uh, parking lot's a little sharper here. You can actually see the grain in the parking lot and not here. Okay, so yeah, that's it. This is a $30 slide copier. And my opinion is, and I don't, I don't know how you feel after seeing this, but my opinion is if, you, uh, if you're going to produce something like a scrapbook or you need a picture, for the internet. Yeah, as long as it's not too big, this is probably tolerable. If you're going for archive quality or trying to get the max picture, you know, for family use or something, I would go with the uh, the DIY slide copier, the one with the wood base and the camera. Okay, so my major complaints about this thing are, well, the tippy, <laughs> the tippiness of the top part, uh, the fact that this hole, um, yeah, it's, it's, there's no need to make the hole that small. I mean, you can make it bigger and, and the lump on the bottom of the camera, that uh, camera lump, maybe, you know, cut that out and that would fit through there. And somehow if we could uh, square up the edge on here, because the way the camera was, it's hanging over this edge and it wants to kind of tip off of there. So if we could figure out some way of fixing that. Anyway, if there's interest, uh, leave me your suggestions on how we might modify this to make it worthwhile. Uh, and if I get enough interest, I will go and uh, try to implement some of those, okay? Well, I hope you found that useful and interesting in your photographic endeavors.